It's been such a long time since Rumi has put out something as good as this. The Rumi 10. Well, first of all, ano ba meron dito? Rumi 10. Meron siyang 90 Hz Super AMOLED display, MediaTek Helio G99 processor, a massive 5000 mAh battery, and get this, 50 MP color AI camera. For the first time, color. Bakit? Wala bang color natin yung camera? Ah, kasi color AI. Hindi, wow. May AI yung color niya. But why 10? Hindi na lang Realme X. Kasi nga, meron ng X natin noong 2019 yung nag-pop up. Meron pala ganun klaseng technology dati. But bakit hindi nagtagal yun? Gimmick lang kasi. But guys, good news. Ang pinakamababa niyang storage ay 128. Meron pa siyang up to 256 gigs of internal storage. And up to 13 gigabytes of RAM. Humanda na kayo kay Realme 10. Upload to Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, if you want to check out the full specs of this phone, put it on unboxdiaries.com. We've got it all for you. But ganon, parang yung color niya is parang almost the same as our background. Hindi po to real me channel. Nagkataon lang halos parehas yung color namin. At parehas din kaming number one. Sure ka ba dyan? Okay, here we go. Hey, welcome to the Realme family. Ah. And right here is the SIM ejector pin. At yung kanyang jelly case. Important information guide. And quick start guide. Paano naging quick to? Medyo matagal kong binubuksan. Took me three seconds. And here is the phone. The beautiful. The magical rush black color with the glittering back, gradient color design, and still has that box type no yung uh, parang iPhone ang ganda. Wow, look at that back. Sobrang nagi glitter kapag tinatama na ilaw. Tapos meron siyang parang pa curve curve ayun no. Pero ayun bet na bet ko talaga ang kanyang log ay este yung kanyang shape. It looks like the iPhone from afar. Ganda, very elegant, very premium, very mabenta. Underneath, we're gonna get USB Type-C cable and 33 watts Super VOOC charger. Nice, mabilis yung phone, mabilis mag-charge, mabilis din siyang bumenta. What happened sa design ni Realme? Parang nagbago na siya over the years kasi alam po naman yung itsura ng isang Realme phone eh. Ibang-iba na po ang itsura ni Realme ngayon. Magkakamukha po sila lahat. They got that Realme look to it, curve back. Minsan maleta style pa. But since the Realme C35 has come out earlier this year, yes guys, yung pinakamabenta nila cellphone this year, na mukhang iPhone. Nakita nila na ang dali pala magbenta ng ganitong klaseng design, no? Magbenta talaga. You've got that flat back, flat sides, box-shaped design na ka-shape na ka-shape ni iPhone. Actually, ang trend this year is this type of shape, no? Kapag meron kang ganitong design, magbenta talaga siya. But since hindi niya totally ginaya lang yung design, syempre, it's only the shape but meron pa siyang extra yung pagpagradient, glitter effect. The back is also glossy so medyo magka-fingerprint siya. And also the camera, mas malaki ang lens. Pero dalawa lang ngayon, no? It's what? Oh nga, no? Ba't dalawa na lang yung camera ngayon? Yun na ba yung trend? Pakonti na pakonti? Kung dati guys, padami na padami ngayon, okay na pala ang dalawang camera lang. 50! MP AI camera, LED flash, ayan po. Feeling ko 2 MP depth sensor to. Oh, by the way, rush black pala yung color ko dito ngayon. And yes, this is a plastic back, plastic yung body. The phone is very thin and lightweight. Ayan po yung kanyang power button sa side. Volume rocker sa taas niya. Sa taas naman, meron pa siyang microphone. Sa ilalim naman meron siyang headphone jack. Nice. Microphone, USB Type-C port, and yung kanyang speaker. Sa left side naman is kanyang SIM tray. Yun. Dual nano SIM card slot plus micro SD card slot for expandability on top of the already huge 1 to 8 gigabyte na base version. Tapos, bilik ka pa lang 2, 5, 6, no? Laki na. And going at the front. Ah, ibang iba na talaga. Iba, iba na itsura niya. Iba na ang itsura ni Realme ngayon. Grabe naman ka bright nito. This one was too bright. Teka nga, sabog eh. Yep, that's right guys. Kailangan ko siyang babaan pa ng todo para lang makita niyo yung tamang color niya. Ganun ka bright ang display niya. Tapos iba na ang itsura niya para sa akin. This is not the usual Realme display. As you can see, mas sagad siya no? compared sa mga lumang Realme phones. The bezels at the sides is a lot thinner. Tapos yung pagka-curve niya sa side, no? this is different. Siguro dahil sinundan niya yung shape ng body, that's why ibang-iba na itsura niya. Malita rin yung baba. So, oh by the way, 6.4 inch pala to. 1080p, 90Hz AMOLED display na siya. And as you've seen, grabe yung brightness niya. At ito po ang itsura niya sa YouTube. 
up to 1440p, 60 frames per second. Napansin ko, medyo high quality talaga siya, no? You're gonna get some really good colors here. Very punchy, very sharp. Also, grabe yung black bars, no? Nakikita mo yan? Ganun po kahaba yung phone, so stretch out, ganyan po yung tsura niya. Uy, grabe. Ibang klase na yung immersion. Grabe kasi kanipis na kanyang bezel, so feeling mo, parang display na lang siya, hindi siya phone. As you can see, you know, grabe yun. Wow, this is this is different now. Since the Realme 7, ah, hindi na ako masyado nawawaw sa mga Realme series phones nila. I gotta say, parang wala masyadong minor spec pump na lang every year. But this one, this is totally different. You can really feel that this is a huge jump from the Realme 9. Maybe not in specs, but in total experience, ibang iba na po to. Kung Realme fan ka, you have to experience this. Wow, I think Realme is back in the game. And since it's got a 90Hz refresh rate, smooth na smooth po ang galawan sa kanyang homepage, sa Facebook, pretty much kahit saan smooth po siya tingnan. And get this, no? As even though na 90Hz refresh rate siya, baka daw kasi mabilis mabos yung battery, guys, 5,000mAh na siya. So, nice. Usually kasi ang ini-include ay 4,500 lang, pero 5,000 na ngayon. On top of that, 33 watts pa siya. So, mabilis siya mag-charge. You have got everything right, Realme, right here. Thank you. Now, the question is, okay ba siya for gaming? Ito na po. Okay, so naglaro kami ng Mobile Legends. Alam niyo naman yan, favorite ko talaga yung Mobile Legends. Isa na po akong Mythic Glory. Ay, parang di marunong, no? Mythical Glory. Ako po, umabot na ng 800 points. So, ano po yan? Um, ito po yung settings na Ultra Graphics, pero wala po siyang super refresh rate, unfortunately. But, alam naman natin yan, in the near future, nagkakaroon ng software updates. Ang kaganda ni Realme is, lagi siya merong regular software update. So, don't worry. Kahit wala ngayon, in the near future, baka meron siyang up to 90fps na graphics. But right now, for me, okay na to. Feeling ko na talaga, for the processor it has, parang Kapag naka ultra graphics ka, high refresh rate ang talaga para 60fps mo siya. Simply because ganito po yung kanyang Antutu benchmark. Almost 400,000 points, 392,000 points po ang kanyang score sa Antutu. Which is okay na. Actually, that's very fast for a mid-range phone. Um, previously, mga mid-range ay nasa 200,000 lang, 280. But this year, umaabot na ng almost 400,000 points yung mga mid-range phones. Which is impressive. Kasi naalala ko si iPhone 12. Yung processor po ni iPhone 12 na si A13 ba yun? That one was only 450,000 points nung nireview ko nung 2020 yun. And this one is almost at that point. Pero yes, ang importante, smooth po siya sa Mobile Legends. Wala pong problema. Hindi po siya nagpa-frame drops. Nagpa-frame drops na siya siyempre kapag ka mainit, kapag tanghali, at kapag kina-charge mo siya at the same time, doon po nagpa-frame drops. There's no way getting over that. But yes, kapag regular, kapag sa gabi, wala pong problema to. Promise. At ayun lang, sa Call of Duty, ay uh, hindi siya ganun optimize kasi nga naka-medium graphics lang siya, high refresh rate. Maghihintay pa kayo ng konti kapag ka Call of Duty player ka. Kung gusto mo talaga ng super smooth, super ganda ng graphics, hindi pa siya ganun optimized. Hopefully, magkaroon siya ng update in the near future. But yes, in terms of gameplay, graphics, okay po siya dito. Wala pong problema kasi nga, well, limited siya nung kanyang settings na pinrovide dito sa phone to. Sa Genshin Impact naman, okay, so we're coming to that point na kinakaya na ng isang mid-range phone, mid-range processor ang isang medium graphics sa Genshin Impact. No? Wag nyo lang talaga i-ultra or max settings to kasi nga mahihirapan talaga siya medium graphics talaga guys. And dati kasi kapag medium graphics tapos yung processor mo ay hindi gano'ng kabilis maglilag talaga siya. Ito guys, bearable na. Sobrang playable na siya and you won't even notice yung parang pagka frame drop. Frame droppy niya. Ayun. Kung gusto nyo talaga maglaro na super smooth to mag PC na lang kayo mag PS5 na lang kayo kung makakuha kayo ngayon. Ito pala, no, since single down firing speaker lang siya kasi meron mga tao dyan na maari talaga sa sounds. Realme has thought of you guys. Meron po siyang 200% ultra boom speakers. Mas malakas na daw po at mas klaro. Both treble and bass has that punch to it to give you a much better immersive gaming experience. Now, coming to the cameras, meron po siyang 50 megapixel AI color camera. I don't know, siguro yung AI color feature meron siyang ganun. Which is actually meron, no? Kapag ka tinurn on mo yung kanyang AI, meron po siyang AI scene enhancement. Kapag po naka-on to, anything and everything that it will see is parang gagawin niya much more saturated, much more contrasty, mas punchy po, mas malakas po dating na mga pictures. Ganun po ang itsura niya. Now for me, it's it's pretty okay in terms of image quality. 
especially kapag ka nasa labas to, outdoors, maganda po ang itsura ng mga pictures na makuha nyo. Um, is it on the same level as a high-end flagship phone? No! Malayo po yan. I've seen so much better. Pero kasi kapag ka gumawa ka na ng mga portrait-portrait, may mga background blur, ma-impress ka talaga sobra when you are going to use the camera on this. Kaya lang, napansin ko, is dalawa na lang pala lens compared sa dating maabot pa nga ng apat eh. Ano na nangyari sa mga camera ngayon? Dati eh. You've got the main camera, ultra wide, macro and depth sensor ngayon. Almost wala na. Meron pa kang BMW sensor eh. Mercedes sensor. But guys, Realme has ticked two cameras at the back and it looks like yung isa ay isang depth sensor for the background blur. Pero kasi para sa akin, feeling ko lang to put the price down, they had to remove the 8MP ultra wide angle that they usually put sa kanila mga mid-range phones. And by the way, 16 megapixel po yung kanyang selfie camera. Overall, yung kanyang 50 megapixel na camera ay saktuhan lang, no? Sharp na siya, especially kung maganda yun yung lighting. Pero kapag ka sa indoors, medyo mahirapan siya ng konti, you will actually get much more detail on higher-end phones na mas maganda yung mga sensor. But for me, very adequate na yung kanyang image quality. Just don't expect too much. And yes, 1080p lang po, 30 frames per second yung video. Uy, it's got the street mode, ah. Uh, street mode, meron 24 millimeters and 50 millimeter. Wow. Dati parang nahanap ko sa mga Realme GT phones, mga high-end nila. But now, I, I'm seeing it on their mid-range as well. So yeah, full feature naman siya. May mga missing lang sa video. Kasi, hindi na ako sanay pag walang 4K. Hindi na ako sanay kapag walang 60 frames per second. So, there you go. Now, for me, siguro ito yung pinaka-okay sa kanyang camera, which is yung kanyang selfie camera. No? Tinry naman ito ni Kazel. Ito po yung itsura ni Kazel. She's so pretty. Bagay na bagay po sa babae yung mga gitong klaseng camera. Uh, ang smooth tingnan, mukhang pang-artistahin. Ang natingan ng mga girls dito. Uh, sa so guys, ito yung itsura nila. Ayan po yung itsura ko. <laughs> e paano kung hindi, hindi? Okay, tama na. Ayan, so tingnan mag-picture yung mga lalaki, guys. Kung hindi kayo ganyan mag-picture, mag-isip-isip na kayo. Ito naman kami dalawa magkasama. Kaya na bahala mag-decide kung perfect pa talaga siya para sa inyo. For me, maganda po siya. The beautification works. Tanggal yung mga buto sa mukha ko. Tanggal ang imperfections. Ang hindi lang tanggal is yung buhok ko sa ilong. Oh my God. Okay, tama na yan. Really 10. Is it actually a 10 out of 10? Hmm. Maybe. Depends on the price. By the way, ang presyo ay 8128. 12,999 pesos lang siya. Pero guys, 11.11 .11, mega sale price, 10,999 pesos lang siya. What? Tapos yung 8256 naman, 14,999 pesos. Pero wala pa siyang 11.11 .11 mega sale price. Pre-order will start on November 26 to December 2, 2022 on Realme Shopee official store page. So yan. Nalaman nyo na yung presyo. For me, 9 out of 10. Hindi siya 10 out of 10. Could have been better but siguro for me ang nagdala talaga dito is kanyang overhaul design. Ibang iba na po to. From back to side to the front. It's a totally different Realme series. For me, not just the usual parang rehashed gradual upgrade every year. I am telling you right now if you're coming from my Realme 6 kahit kay Realme 9 ibang iba na po ang kanyang experience dito. But probably the best thing about this is yung kanyang napakalaking storage option na 256 gigs of internal storage plus up to 13 gigabytes of RAM. Yung 256 pa lang, ang hirap na makuha dun. Merong mga ibang brands na nag-offer ng mas magandang specs pero providing 256, magandang idea ni Realme. That's actually what people need in 2022. More storage, a better all-new design, and very competitive specs. By the way, 4G na pala to. So, baka magsabi kayo na, Oy, 5G na ba yan? 4G na po to. Helio G99. And that's pretty much it for this review of the Realme 10. What do you think about the Realme 10, guys? Let me know, guys, in the comments below. By the way, magkakaroon pa tayo ng comparisons kay Realme 10 in the near future and more reviews. Kaya mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Ako pala si Vince, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Ooh.